Okay, I got a 2012, I believe 2010 to 17 GMC Terrain. That will be, uh, I'm gonna be installing an amplifier. First thing I would wanna look at is, does it have a built-in factory or where the battery's at and where the fuse is at? I'm gonna run the remote wire from here. I'm gonna run the remote wire no matter what anyway, just in case I uh, needed it because the, some of them are making uh, staying on for too long. So I'm gonna run the remote wire from here just in case I needed it. And then you got option. You got the option of removing this out. That's a 10 millimeter. Just remove that out and run it if you have a small amp. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be removing this. That's a 10 millimeter. And then I'll run the four gauge all the way to the back. And then uh, the factory amplifier is right underneath here. I'm going to uh, run the subwoofer output from here all the way to the back to hook up that little simple amplifier. So here we go. Oh, I need to remove 7 millimeter right here. 1, 2, and 3 to get to the amplifier. One, two, and three. And sometime you're gonna have to take that out too by taking a flat head or something that's flat enough to go in here and pry it out. It's all clipped. Right there. You can see the amplifier, the amplifier right underneath there, but you got, let's take that down. You should be able to see it. And if this thing bothering you, all you have to do is take a flat hat, push that down, and then pull this out. Like so. It's raining outside, so it's, I close the garage. So what you want to do, you want to push this clip in. And then, and then kind of pull it down, push it in, and then pull it down like so. And same as that. And I believe, when I was making it stuck right there, you can take this clip out if you want to. I'm not going to. You can take that clip right there by taking, press this out, and then pull it out. Press it out, pull it out, I guess. Now you want to get like a coat hanger, or I mean coat hanger is your best bet. And this is a 4 gauge, so I cut half of it down and then stick it down like in like that and make it a loop. And then what I do, I use the black tape and tape this up. And make sure you tape this in like this so you can pull it out easily. That's what it should look like. And then now you want to take that, the end of that. And you can see that rubber boot right there. See that rubber boot? Whoop, my fingers. And I'm gonna push it through on the side of the rubber boot. Make sure you're not damaged any wire or anything like that. Right there. You don't wanna create a short. So just poke it through. Kind of poke it through right here. I'm gonna pull it. Pull with the wire like so. And you wanna leave it about right here. Be careful, this is live. And about right there because the 12 volt is over here. The positive side of battery. Or you can do it right here. I did, I ran the speaker wire to the back, I got the power, the remote right here, 12 volt and the remote just in case. Uh, earlier I showed you that I, I didn't, I forgot the remote so what I did, I tied with the black tape and I pulled it and I pulled up the 4 uh, gauge back. So now all I'm going to do right there, I'm going to take a flat head and go right here and just pry this piece by piece like so. And then I can pull this out, the rubber. I think they call something else, but uh, I call it rubber. 
But uh, anyway, uh, you got that out. And now if you got a small wire, all you have to do is kind of lift this right here and just slide it in there if you want it to. See, I can I can almost do that, but I just kind of want to show you both way how to do that. It's the same as this right here, you see? You can just lift it up right here and then snuck the wire back in. So whichever way you want to do, it's it's how you like it to do it. I mean, uh, this one, mine, I'm going to just show you how I'm going to remove all that. So basically, just pry it and it should come out right right here basically the same just pull it out forward this way toward you right here see so you can literally go up there I'm using one hand so it's a little bit tough I don't want to break anything so I'm gonna just pull it like that you be you should be able to see it right here see and then just run the wire through and that's what the clip look like so you have to pry it outward right there one outward right there same thing as out right there and then you should get to it right here just take that down I'm gonna slide the wire right there and then the speaker wire I want to make sure it's long enough to get to the amplifier down there so I'm gonna keep the wire up here so it don't fall back down like that you'll see that clip right there is one white clip right there right there so take a flat hat and pry that out right there see and same as over here just pry this out and then I'm gonna pull this uh, rubber uh, I think it's called a pillar I'm, I'm gosh I've been doing this for so long I never know what that call huh. I guess I wasn't so worried about once you pry this out right there there's one clip right there and one clip right there and you should be able to move it like this and just slide the wire inside right there like so snuck it in make sure you snuck it all the way in so that way you put a remote right there and you accidentally hit that remote and then burn up something so put it in like that I couldn't get this all the way out because of that. I think that's a gas line right there. I'm not going to touch it. So I'm going to do it right here. I sand it really good and put the ground and run it to the ground. I use a longer wire right now and then I cut it later. This is a wire that I ran from the front over there for the, from the subwoofer. So I'm going to hook up the red wire which is I'm going to use for positive and then uh, the black is negative. So what I did, I used only one channel from the subwoofer. The solid one, like solid white, solid gray, I'm gonna hook it up to the red. And then the one with the stripe, the black stripe, gray, white, uh, gray, gray, black, and white, black, I'm gonna hook it up to the ground, which is the black wire, right? Not the ground, the negative side. And then also, I'll show you later on that part. So now I'm gonna hook up the black with the black right there, with the blue wire here. This is the ground that I ran over there. And then now I'm going to do the power wire and I also hook up this remote from this kiss lock. This is a kiss lock too. It's got a built in uh, remote output. That's why I had to hook up this two wire. If not, I don't, I don't even have to touch it. I can use this blue wire that I ran to the front. I'm going to show you where that blue is at, but we'll get to that when we uh, do the uh, fuse holder. The red wire hook up to the positive side, which is 12 volt. And then the ground, as you can see, and then the remote, I'm going to hook up the... Uh, positive and negative right here because it's only a single little uh, 12 that's what I was talking about you should be able to see positive on here and negative underneath right there on the bottom like I was saying that I didn't talk much about the positive right here you can see positive and see negative right there every amp is a little bit different this is an old 250.1 which is a 500 watt kickers got a jack I got a, a 1.5 feet uh, jack instead of a 3 feet it's too long and hook it up to the input of the RCA jack you want to go to the uh, uh, let me get the light for you right there it's a black plug you want to go 2 and 3 dark green is positive and light blue black is negative so you can push this clip right there and then pull it out and kind of work with it or just take a, a knife and kind of take this uh, tape out but just be careful not to pinch the the, uh, the wire 
in my case right here I'm gonna use the uh, uh, t-tap and a uh, mail quick disconnect right there so uh, as you can see the red go to the dark green and then the uh, black wire go to which is the black wire is the negative side of the speaker go to the light blue and black take a 10 millimeter socket remove that out You remove the bolt, push it out like that, and then pick it up as you can see right here. And then leave this down here, and then go to your 12 volt and unscrew this 10 millimeter right there and stick the. Uh, um, you can take all the way this all the way out, or you can just move it a little bit, let it loose, and then just kind of make it like a fork right there, a spade, and push it in make note of this uh, it's best to take this ground out first that way you don't actually hit the uh, metal or ground it out right there and spark so uh, best is to take that out first after I hooked everything up there's no sound I checked this speaker it's working fine the amp is working fine it just this doesn't get any signal to this but uh, the customer did mention that this factory is not working so it couldn't it could be the factory amp is bad so let me uh, go check uh, see if I can run a line out converter through uh, the uh, just regular front speakers oh I couldn't figure it out I don't know what the problem is so I'm going in back right here I'm gonna hook up to 10 it's positive gray is negative that's for the front so I'm hooking it back and that's the green plug right there so uh, let's see if it play because I don't know if it's an output I don't know if it my line out converter doesn't like it. So find out in a second. I got sound right now, so I did hook up to the front. Like I said, the speaker's not working, so it must have be a bad channel or something. And that's all I can tell you right now. If everything's working, I'm gonna put everything back and call the customer.